Let's take a look at the syllabus for this class. This is Writing 150, Composition 1. This is a four credit class that will take place over the course of only seven weeks online with online deadlines of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Office hours will also be online, but you can make an appointment to meet with me in my office, although the best way to get me is at that email address there. This is a course emphasizing the rhetorical and stylistic demands of college writing. You're going to learn to generate, organize, and develop your ideas, and to make some appropriate rhetorical choices. You'll need to earn a grade of 2.0 or higher in Writing 150 in order to move on to Writing 160. In your Writing 150 class this semester, you're going to learn to analyze rhetorical situations and enact some appropriate rhetorical strategies, including learning about kairos and ethos and how to use logos and pathos in your work. You're going to learn to apply rhetorical knowledge to gain a better understanding of a professional discourse community, and in this case that community will be people working within your field of study. You're going to develop strategies for reading rhetorically, reflect on your own writing processes, employ writing as a process of meaning making. You'll demonstrate some fluency with grammar and language, and you'll also be able to use MLA style by the time you leave here. The required texts in this class are Grizz Writes, a guide to first year writing at Oakland University, and you'll want to get the most current edition from the university bookstore. We'll also have some select readed from Writing Spaces, which is an online, open source, so free, textbook. Writing 150 is going to give you an introduction to writing and rhetoric with the preparation you're going to need to be an effective writing, writer and rhetor in 160 and beyond. Our class is going to meet online all semester, and online class time is going to consist of things like peer reviews, reading discussions, group activities, collaborative writing, and quizzes. You'll also have a good bit of homework in this class, which will include reading assignments, short writing assignments, research for projects, and drafting and revising your major projects in this class. This online class will meet three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which means that every week you will have three deadlines for ver posting various materials online. If you don't meet those deadlines, you're going to receive absences for each class, it's two for each, and a zero on that assignment. Online classes are already incredibly challenging, um, so you're going to make sure that you provide yourself with a lot of reminders and anticipate what's coming up next. Because this is a summer class, it's even more challenging than a regular online class during the 14-week semester. Instead of 14 weeks for Writing 150, you're going to have only seven weeks. So classwork is going to be doubled every week, and things are going to move very, very quickly. In addition to Moodle News Forum posts, I'm going to send you videos and written instructions, introductions to rhetorical theory, research and writing, um, some introductions to your major and minor projects, as well as some explanations for individual or group work activities. Some of our online classes are going to involve paper drafting, peer review, and revising, but no matter what is planned for each day, you should be able to keep up with the work that's required and anticipate what's coming next. I've been teaching college writing for 15 years, and nine of those years have been here at OU. The first class I ever taught here was Composition 1, Writing 150, and that remains one of the best classes I ever taught. Um, I love working with Writing 150 students. I love working with first semester college students because they bring new life to our campus every year and they breathe new energy into the entire academic enterprise. So I'm really excited for us to work together this semester and I hope you are too. Let's take a look at some of the expectations for your work in this class. First of all, all of our writing classes adhere to the OU excused absence policy. You're also allowed a certain number of absences without penalty. During a regular 14-week semester, that's three absences without any penalty. But during a seven-week semester, it's reduced by half so only 1.5 absences before your course grade is lowered. And this includes any absences. 
Participation in online activities counts as class attendance, and this online class will have activities due three times a week. So for each online class absence beyond the 1.5 that you're allowed without penalty, your final course grade will be lowered by 0.2 on the four-point scale. If you miss more than the summer equivalent of three combined weeks of class, so that's just over a week and a half or five online classes, you are not eligible to receive a grade above 0.0. .0. Attendance is posted in Moodle at the top of the course page, so you want to check that and your course grades regularly. You might also want to look at the video describing the attendance policy in more detail, which is also posted in Moodle. I reserve the right not to accept late major projects at all. I also reserve the right to grade late projects down a full grade for each online class period that they're missed. I reserve the right to return late work when my schedule permits. Any major projects that are submitted late can't be revised for a better grade. And I'll talk about the revision policy below because this is a pretty good policy and guaranteed to help you with your success in this class. Online classwork that's submitted late will receive a zero and count as an absence. You want to think about the academic conduct in this class. And this is a class that's going to give you an introduction to citing some sources. And so it's important that you understand the university's policy on academic conduct. The first thing you need to know is that cheating on exams plagiarism, falsifying reports, this counts as breaches of academic conduct. And here's where you can find that policy. You're going to be doing a lot of peer reviewing in this class. Now the grades that you earn are confidential, but the texts that you produce are going to be shared with your classmates and possibly with others outside our class. Social practices are very important in a rhetoric class because social practices are rhetorical practices. And I expect all of you to maintain the highest level of social, rhetorical, and ethical behaviors in this class, which includes contributions to class discussions and peer review activities, your commitment to submitting timely and complete work, your ethos, which is your credibility, your authority, your personality as a respectful citizen of the classroom, and your capacity for successful collaboration with others. Your grade is going to be determined using a variety of projects. The first will be the rhetorical analysis. This is going to three, be three to five pages long. We'll begin it immediately, and it will be developed over the next two weeks through multiple drafts. Project two is going to ask you to research your chosen field, beginning with a broad discussion, and then looking more specifically at communication practices within your field. You'll use primary research methods, including one interview with a professional in the field. Start thinking about who you might interview now, because this is the hardest part of this assignment, is finding someone good who you can talk to about communication in your field. This particular project is going to be four to six pages long, and it will also be developed through multiple drafts and peer reviews. Project three will be your group multimodal or career major presentation. So you're going to work with a small group of peers to design a multimodal presentation about your career or major for a specific audience. You'll also put together a portfolio, and this will be worth 10% of your final grade in the class. For this, you're going to include the major projects, but you'll also compose a 46-page reflection that analyzes the work you've done all semester, what you've learned about writing and rhetoric, and how the information and practices you learned in this class are going to impact your studies across campus and beyond. Finally, your online classwork, those Monday, Wednesday, Friday activities, will be graded on a 4.0 scale and may not be made up or revised for a better grade in most cases. Online work includes the three times a week Moodle work you complete, the peer reviews, discussion forums, etc. And this is worth 30% of your grade, so it's a pretty big one. The revision policy for this class is that for each project you complete, you're going to develop it over several weeks and have chances to develop it and peer review it and revise it. Your first two projects, you'll also have the opportunity to revise for a different or better final grade if you wish. And you'll have an additional opportunity to revise a single project 
for your inclusion in your end of the semester portfolio. For each of the first two projects that you complete in this class, you're also going to compose a reflection analyzing the process you use to develop that project. And of course, you'll compose that final reflection analyzing your work throughout the semester. Oakland uses the numerical 0.0 to 4.0 scale. This class follows the university's add drop policy and it's your responsibility to know the dates to add and drop this class and how this might impact things like your financial aid. Students who have disabilities who may require reasonable accommodations need to make an appointment with OU's Disability Support Services Office and here's some information on that. Once you've made an appointment with that office, send me the letter so that we can figure out what types of accommodations we need to make for your disability. As a student at OU, you have access to the Writing Center, and as an online student, you may be eligible to use the Writing Center services online. Finally, this semester, the very beginning, I'm going to ask you to provide me with a writing sample, which I'm going to use to determine if you might benefit from enrolling in Writing 104 Supervised Study. This is a one credit course that gives students a little one-on-one -on -one tutorial instruction with another writing faculty member. To succeed in this class, you'll need to purchase the most recent edition of the required textbook, Grizz Writes, A Guide to First Year Writing at OU. You'll also need to have access to the internet on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays to post your online classwork. You'll need to have access to our Moodle online class, obviously. You'll want to check your email. OU email at least once a day, and if you can't get OU email where you are, forward OU email to the email server you use. You'll want to complete all reading assignments and all required online classwork to succeed. To succeed in this class, you're going to want to watch all of the instructional videos that I post here and read all of the news forum posts and instructional handouts that I provide. I look forward to working with you this, this semester. Please let me know if you have any questions about our class.